Hello guys, my name is Ankita and I teach computer science. So the concept that we are going to do today is cryptography. So let us understand cryptography with the help of a very amazing story. So just like any other story, cryptography also has its set of characters. So let us understand what characters does cryptography have. So our first character is Alice. Second character is Bob. And third character is Trudy. So if you think of any story, so every story has its set of good guys and bad guys. So similarly in this story, the good guys are Alice and Bob. And the bad guy is Trudy. Now let us see why Trudy is a bad guy. It is because Alice and Bob are best friends and Trudy is jealous of their friendship. So every now and then Trudy tries to create problems. So this happens again one fine day. So one fine day Alice and Bob are chatting. And the channel through which they are chatting is not secure. So what happens is Trudy is able to read through all the messages that Alice is trying to send Bob. And it is a fun day for Trudy, right? So what happens is Alice sends hi to Bob. So Trudy thinks, okay, hi is not a problematic thing for me. So let's send the same message to Bob. So Alice sends hi to Bob. But since Trudy is intercepting through the messages, Trudy is able to read this hi. And Trudy is a good guy, trying to be good guy. Okay, hi is no harm for me. So Trudy sends this hi again to Bob. Now another message that Alice sends to Bob is let's meet at 6 p.m. Okay, now our villain Trudy is awake and Trudy thinks okay, this is a problematic message. Let's have fun. So what Trudy does is changes this message to let's meet at 9 p.m. Now this is a problem, right? Now Alice thinks that Alice needs to meet Bob at 6 p.m. However, Bob comes at the place at 9 p.m. Why? Because Trudy changed the message, right? And Trudy had a fun that day. But this entire situation could have been avoided if we had proper cryptography in place. So let us understand how this problem could have been avoided. So what Alice could have done is the messages that Alice is sending to Bob, we can call those messages as plain text message. So these are plain text messages. Plain text messages are something which anyone can read. So what Alice could have done is, Alice could have encrypted the message. You may have heard this encryption thing when you use WhatsApp, right? The messages are end-to-end -end encrypted. It means no one is able to read your messages that you sent to the receiver. So except for the receiver, no one is able to read those messages. So the same thing Alice could have done. Alice could have encrypted her messages. So after encryption, the message that we get is called cipher text. So cipher text is nothing but encoded message. Encoded message means gibberish. No one is able to read that. So even Bob would not be able to read this message. So in order for Bob to read this message, Bob will have to decrypt this encrypted message right but in order for Bob to decrypt the message Bob should know the way in which Alice encrypted the message only then Bob will be able to decrypt the message so Alice used something called as a key to encrypt her message and, un and till the time Bob has the same key Bob would not be able to decrypt the message so the same key has to be communicated over the channel now think about this if the same key if trudy gets hold of the same key there is no meaning to this encryption and decryption because trudy will carry out this encryption and decryption and trudy will get hold of the plain text message so this kind of a technique where the same key is used at both the senders end and the receiver's end. This is called symmetric key cryptography. But since there is a problem of sharing this key over the channel and there is a risk of this key getting compromised, 
we came up with another kind of cryptography which is called asymmetric key cryptography so what do you think asymmetric key cryptography will be so asymmetric key cryptography is where the key at both the sender and the receiver's end is different so let us define this right so what is symmetric key cryptography what is symmetric key cryptography so in symmetric key cryptography the key used at both sender and receiver's end is same what is asymmetric key cryptography so asymmetric key cryptography so let's uh, Yes. What is asymmetric key cryptography? Key used at both sender and receiver's end is different. So, what is cryptography? Cryptography is a process in which we encrypt the plain text message to get cipher text, and then the receiver decrypts the cipher text into plain text. okay so in order to encrypt the message we use something called as key if the key is same at both sender and the receiver's end then it is called symmetric key cryptography and if the key is different at both the sender and the receiver's end then it is called asymmetric key cryptography i hope the concept was clear for more such concepts stay tuned with me thank you